today we will teach your dog the head down trick and once they have learned that we will show you how to take amazing pictures of your dog with it. Let's go! If you are one of our online class students, you definitely know Victoria. She is one of our team trainers and she's the one who answers all of the questions in our online courses. Now, what you may not know is that Victoria is not just a talented dog trainer, but also a phenomenal photographer. All of the pictures you're looking at right now were taken by her and I'm extra excited to have her teach the head down tutorial today as well as showing you how to utilize that to take great photos of your dog. With the help of Envy here, I'm gonna show you how to teach a head down to your dog. We're gonna need a blanket or towel or a pillow, as well as a dog bed. I find that it's a lot easier to start teaching this on a really soft surface, because the dog is more likely to offer this behavior. So we're gonna start with the dog laying down in front of us. We want to start with something as thick as needed to almost reach their chin. I'm gonna put this on the front leg and I'm gonna lure, yes, my dog's chin on the blanket or pillow. Some dogs will naturally offer this behavior, but if they don't, just lure them down on the blanket and as soon as their chin touch the blanket, you want to mark and reward. As your dog gets better and better at offering the behavior, we want to make this part thinner because we want to fade it out completely over time. Yes. Yes. I'm just gonna reset her so she lays in front of me properly. Yes. Good girl. Yes, good girl. And once you think your dog gets it, you want to wait for them to offer the behavior. Yes, and reward. Good girl. So now we're using something really thin. Yes, good girl. Eventually you want to remove all of this and we'll see if our dog offers a behavior. If they don't, we just want to lure them down like we did. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Once your dog is really good at doing the head down predictably without the help of luring, we can add the head down cue. I'm going to place my dog again. Head down. Yes. Good girl. If you say your cue and your dog doesn't follow through, you can just lure their head down. Head down. Yes. Head down. Yes. Good girl. Once your dog is really successful with the head down on the dog bed, we want to remove the dog bed and practice on something flat. So we're going to do the same thing, ask our dog to lay down in front of us and we're going to try to see if they want to do a head down. Head down. Yes. Head down. Yes. From there, all we want to do is work on adding more duration as well as practice with us in different position like bend down like we're trying to take a picture or standing up or at a distance. There's many different ways a dog can show or offer a head down. Um, as you'll see, your dog might not offer the head down in the same way as mine does. So now that our dog is able to lay their head down inside, we're gonna practice outside on the grass. So once again, we're gonna start with our dog laying down in front of us. I'm gonna stay close and I'm gonna ask her for a head down. Yes. Now, if once you're outside and you're asking your dog for a head down and they don't do it, 
then it's totally okay to bring um, the blanket or the pillow that you are practicing on inside the house. Or you can also lower your dog's head down, just like this. Head down. Yes. Good job. Now we're going to practice a few times on the grass. Head down. Yes. Good girl. Head down. Yes. Good job. Once your dog is really good at putting their head down outside in the grass, now we're going to add some duration as well as some distance. Head down. Yes. Good girl. Head down. Yes. Now we're going to practice backing up away from our dog little bit by little bit. Some dogs will have the tendency to crawl back closer toward us because we've practiced so many times being super close. So back up very slowly. Head down. Yes. Good job. And since we're practicing this in the goal to take pictures of our dog, we want to practice also bending down to their eye level because that's how we're going to take our pictures. And for some dogs, when we bend down to their eye level, their first instinct is to come toward us. So we want them to stay in the head down position. Head down. Yes. Good job. Head down. Yes. Head down. Good girl. Now that our dog is good at laying their head down on the grass or flat surfaces, I also wanted to show how to teach a dog to lay their head down on a log or something elevated. So first, it definitely helps to have our dog already know how to put their two paws up or something. But if not, we can just lure them up like this and once they are like this, we lure them down. Good girl. Can definitely take some time. Good girl. Yeah. You can practice that a couple of times so the dog gets comfortable to being in this unusual position. And then we want to ask them to put their head down. Head down. Yes. Again, we can lure them down at first to encourage their head to go down. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Head down. Yes. Head down. Yes. Good job. And now we're going to practice taking pictures in this position. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this trick as much as I do and I hope I get to see pictures of your dog doing this trick. Happy training! If you have any photos to share that you've taken with the head down trick, please show them to us. We love to see them. And now we wish you happy training and happy photography! Today we will teach your dog the head down trick and once they have 